right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Traxxas K10. It's pretty much bone stock other than the shocks underneath. We're gonna be swapping out the tires and wheels to B-lock tires and wheels, or B-lock wheels. And then we're gonna be showing the difference between a stock motor and a Hobbywing Fusion Pro motor. But first we're gonna start out with the Traxxas K10 on the stock motor and see how it runs. What happened there, buddy? Huh? What happened there? Uh, I'll be able to do a backflip on this tree. Ouch. That ain't good. This is a rock crawler. Don't do what I do unless you want to break your stub. How you do it? Let's go inside, put the bigger motor in, beadlock wheels and tires, and we'll see what we get into after that. Pop the body off this K10 here, and uh, let's get into the actual part of the video of swapping the motor. So the biggest part with this video is, <clears throat> so here you have a, when you open up the box and you get the truck brand new, the, the truck's gonna come with your motor and ESC with a, motor we're going to be putting in has a ESC built into it so it's kind of better you put more space you probably put like another battery tray or maybe a light kit right there I don't even know whatever you guys want to put there but today we are putting this motor slash ESC and replacing it and getting the stock motor and ESC out of it so let's get right into it all right so first what we're going to do is take the motor cover off slash spur and pinion gear cover out you're going to need a two millimeter hex drive to pop these screws out of place should, there should only be three of them that motor is a little toasty there we go just like that this piece will come right out just like that. Keep your parts and your screws together so you know what went where. Just good to keep in mind. We're gonna unplug the motor and you see from each other. So I can pull the motor right out. Just like that. Stock motor, nothing special. And then I got to take the ESC out. So there's two bolts, same thing. Two millimeter hex drive. comes loose and then your ESC is plugged into your receiver which is located right here so it's wired let's see here I might have to take the battery out for this and there's two screws in here that should come out as well so I can just pop it open and get to the wire wrong drill just like that 
and let's see here, we have this wired to that. All right, so we got the uh, ESC pulled out and the wire was just a little bit, you know, tangled in there, so Lake gave me a hand. Um, as you can see, everything's a little bit dirty in here. I've used this truck a lot and it's never died, so I figured put a bigger and better motor in it, make it maybe that much better. Um, so yeah, let's grab it. Hopefully my wires will reach, actually. Actually, before we can do that, we gotta hook up the, the actual motor mount for this little piece here and take the pinion gear off as well. This pinion gear fits on the motor shaft. And then we're gonna use a 2.5 hex drive to pull these screws out and do it by hand. So I'm not stripping or breaking the screws in the motor. It's just not a good day if you do that. Okay. Set it up on this motor. As you can see, it has holes just like the other motor, which, let's see here. If I want, okay, you kind of want your wires to be up and out of the way. So I'm gonna go Go right here. Here you'll break the screws. And now let's see if this will fit on here. God, I hope it does. Alright, so we're just gonna twist it on there like that. Get it started. off and then we're gonna finish twisting it you don't want to over tighten because these will even strip out these are almost impossible to get off actually you want this to be set where the uh, motor shaft is flat so make sure All right. that's on there and we're gonna set this boy in here like this Make sure it's meshed with your spur gear, right in here, so pan gear, spur gear. You don't want it too tight or you will strip that spur gear. So you kind of just want it where it's gonna slide on there. And then grab your motor mount, or your motor cover, gear cover. My kid in the background talking. He's gonna be doing this soon, hopefully. Alrighty, so we got the uh, motor wire plugged in to the receiver, and then we got the power button mounted to the car where the last ESC, the Traxxas ESC, was originally mounted. And then when you do this, your um, most Fusion, our Hobby Wing Fusion Pros is gonna have a different connector. So your Traxxas battery, unless you cut it and solder it, won't work. <clears throat> so we're gonna get this truck put back together. We're gonna put the battery tray down, put the screws back in it. Now we're gonna take the receiver cover, make sure that waterproof seal stays covering it. Stays inside where it needs to be. So we got the receiver box, or the receiver cover back on there where it needs to go. We got the battery tray where it needs to go. Motor's all hooked up. All we gotta do is plug a battery in and we're good. But first I want to put the B-lock wheels or the new B-lock wheels and tires on, if you can see what that looks like. Looks pretty good. All right, so when you're uh, putting your new tires on, make sure you, that little hex right there, it's a 12 millimeter hex. 
fits perfectly on there because if it's not you'll you'll strip it out this is plastic the wheel is aluminum so just make sure you get that seated on there properly other than that you'll kind of feel like a click all right just sit on there other than that you should be good it's really not hard to do this tire on put this toy on there something like that you got the handle the handlebar out there but i think that looks pretty good i like a darker color wheel than chrome on the trucks so Went from chrome to black looks good now i'll see you guys outside with the new hobby wing fusion pro motor installed all right guys so we're back out with the k10 and it's got the hobby wing fusion pro let's see what this thing will do um i'm expecting a lot of power you already been ripping it around i can see uh yeah you do not see that yeah let's see what this baby's got oh jesus gosh, bro to flip it over to the top of the top. Dudes. Watch out now. <laughs> Dude. Okay, this thing's insane. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Footage. See if it'll do a backflip off the tree now. I feel like it's faster than your slash. It might be faster than the slash. We'll have to do that in a test in another video, but this boy might do a backflip. It might even drive up the tree. crawl it or you can still use it to crawl just it's meant for um as a truck so like you can still work the truck we're in first gear with the k and as you can see the truck still functions as what it's meant for Upgrade. Let's uh retry that and go and up it in second gear. Rock bouncer engaged. K10 rock bouncer engaged. Ready? So it kind of goes something like that. 
Almost need a roll cage for this thing. Let's do it again. So, handling is not good. Throttle is 110%. Gooder, better. That's going to conclude today's video. We put the Hobby Wing Fusion Pro in the Traxxas K10, and there's a significant change with this truck. I know I beat it up. Most people aren't going to want to beat it up, but I did it for you guys so you guys didn't have to do it to your own truck. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.